Hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Worship Splits with Terry. Uh, we're just doing a quick one and having a look at the update 3.3 patch notes because I haven't actually actually haven't actually yet had time yet to try it out or to see what it like looks in in-game. So let's just quickly go through and I'll give you my thoughts and point out the highlights, what I think is, you know, the good stuff in here. All right, first item, what do we got? We've got a Blitz challenge. So we got more missions. Uh, more missions, which are kind of subsequent. Okay, good, good to know. Always good to have some more missions, gives you more resources and stuff. Um, I've been recently running out of uh, hull blueprints because I don't know, <laughs> it's just too many ships that uh, that I, I unlocked like the past week or so and haven't really gotten around to upgrading all of them, which is very, very unusual. I normally get to, I normally have enough blueprints around to fully upgrade the ships that I unlock, but um, I think it's just Yen Yang that's missing the hull upgrade. So something for me to work on. Uh, Italian cruisers full release. That's uh, something we, we, we're expecting. So we will have a new tech tree. And I would assume that it's going to happen sometime next month because the current Blitz Pass is still active, which has the previous ships in it. So while that's ongoing, obviously, we're not going to see the tech tree. But it's it's part of this, uh, of this upgrade, obviously. So here we got the list of them. And there's nothing really surprising. Other than that, we have, well, we, we know what the uh, ship skills are now. So precise aiming, um, fuel smoke, and air defense alert, which is good. So I wasn't, I wasn't that far off with my captain, well, my captain skills in my preview after all. <laughs> we get new maps. That's always exciting, especially at top tier. So uh, Encounter has been, I would say for me at least, the absolute the absolute most frequent map in top tiers for a long time. And it, it, it just gets a little bit tiring because you're playing on the same map every time. Uh, so we do get, what do we have? We, do good, we get deadlock, domination map, um, close range map, okay. So we got A and C cap surrounded by islands and a B cap in open seas, okay. Uh, a lot of the new maps recently have been extremely small island heavy, which makes it a little bit more difficult for battleships to play and a lot more friendly to destroyers. Um, I'm not playing battleships all that often, so it's not a huge problem for me, but uh, I can imagine that BB captains are not going to be super happy about it. So but the second map, Crash Zone, another, tier, another high tier map, uh, big map. Okay, that's good. Um, so we've got an A, an A cap. Another domination map, so we've got an A cap, uh, islands, uh, okay, well, it, they, they look reasonably, they look reasonably diverse, and that they're going to be fun. Uh, uh, I'll have to, I'll have to actually look, uh, look them up in the wiki to see what they're looking like, and well, you know, actually experience them in-game. What else we got? Uh, a couple of UI updates, more fleet bonuses for people who have enough oil that they've maxed out all the things. Improved tutorial, it's all not super interesting. Battle wiki has been expanded a bit. Uh, the battle wiki is not completely terrible in game, especially for new players. It's it's worth checking that out. Um, what else? Fleet challenges, uh, okay. We get, uh, they've been adjusted down a little bit apparently. Okay. So easier to complete. Uh, this, one's, this one's interesting for me, bot improvements. Uh, mostly because I do get into bot battles a fair bit, playing at odd hours on, on the server. So uh, the bots have had a couple of quirks that you really have to be aware of if you're playing. And um, once, once you, you know, it, it makes it really annoying for certain classes of ships. Playing destroyers against bot can be super frustrating because they have magic torpedo dodging powers. Um, playing something like an HE spammer or a, a carrier it's just a walk in the park and just um, because, you know, they don't damage control, for example. A destroyer, enemy destroyers almost never use their torpedoes. So it was always a bit frustrating. And I think for somebody who's been, who's, who would be practicing the game, practicing against bots would lead them down the wrong skills. Because they would be, the way they would be playing wouldn't work with, uh, against real players. So I'm, I'm going to have to try that. So I'll be playing a couple of bot, uh, bot battles, uh, not today and tomorrow, because I'm super busy. Maybe on the weekend I'll have some time and see if I can, you know, see if I can figure out what they've actually changed and if the bots behave any differently. So I'm going to get to catch them on fault line. 
Uh, new pretty loading screens, okay? Uh, more UI things. Uh, what do we got? Shop changes. Torpedo bomber arc retention, okay? So when you're dropping torpedoes, you kind of got to control with a little radial which direction they're dropping, and apparently that then that that gets stored. So the next time you send out a, a, a squadron, it'll it'll be the same it'll be the same arc as it was previously, which I guess is kind of nice, especially if you're in if you are in close fights. So if you don't have much time to adjust your your aim, like you you're fighting a destroyer, right? You say you're in a carrier, you're running away from a destroyer, and you're trying to drop him. Uh, it's that little bit less uh, difficult because you don't have to very quickly get the right torpedo angles, but it actually keeps the angle from the previous one. We got a couple of new portraits. Uh, here's my favorite, bug fix. Uh, the smoke bug has been fixed, apparently. Uh, if you haven't seen it because you're not, like, you're just playing battleships, uh, it's for quite a while, if you've been smoking up, it has taken a couple of seconds for the smoke to actually take effect, which is super annoying because especially if you're doing this in a cruiser and, uh, and you're doing it to cover a turn and it turns out that you'd be broadsiding a battleship and they can see you in the smoke. <laughs> or if you're in a destroyer and you're, you're using your smoke because you get under concentrated fire just to find yourself being standing still or reversing visible inside the smoke and everybody just blows you out of the water at their leisure. It, it, I've lost a couple of games that way just because the smoke was, well, not behaving itself. It would take a couple of seconds uh, to, to actually come into effect. Sometimes it would never come into effect because I'd die before it lasts long enough. So this is super useful. And if this is fixed, then I have to verify this because I haven't tried it out. But I mean, if they say so, then I have full faith in that. Then that would be grand. Uh, what else? Uh, Asashio Torps is deep water. Yeah, uh, I, I found that weird when they were trying to talk me. And I said, wait, I thought Asashio had deep waters. <laughs> why Why do they look like normal tops? Um, and a couple more bug fixes. Yeah, but we don't. We didn't get a ship rebalancing. So all in all, in summary, important bug fixes, great. Uh, new maps, great, especially for upper tiers. Um, more resources, different missions, keeps it always interesting. And uh, yeah, looks good. I like it. And Italian cruisers coming up. So... Lots of stuff to look forward to. That's it for me today. I'll follow up with a video of the bot behavior once I've had some time to figure that out. But for today, that's all. And I'm sorry about the noise they're constructing downstairs, so not much I can do about it. See you all. Have a good one.